then? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. The stuff in here is older than you, Blue. Got it. this.
Hi. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal, right? It's like they're scouting the place or something. and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? So did you find out what happened that to the courier? Is missing and I want stuff in years older what than you, Blue. Edward for if not to keep the family safe? Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Tick-tock. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. We've been over this, Mother. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you Did don't you not even off? care. Or what? Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? The serum was all gone. Yeah, figures. Oh well. Here's your pay for the job. Too bad about the serum. Now, as far as what's next. Oh hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Over this mother. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. Mother, will you let me go, please? Jack. Don't have the key. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? 
You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, we tracked down the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got it all, I'm sorry to say. Oh, that is bad news. Our supply here is dangerously low. Well, we'll just have to make it last until the next delivery. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor, then. Hey. Yes? How'd your father manage to trap- Ah! Mm-hmm. Wow. Your father- Well, yeah. It is an unusual situation, but... Are we done? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but uh -huh. are we done? Quite a place you've got here. Thank you. Yeah, a few hasn't cards been short of a full deck. I can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Hey there. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Imogene. We're all looking forward to working with you. Movement detected. Curious. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum.
Weird to be a fault. You call this a clean floor? Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? My apologies, sir. I was issued a defective cleansing unit. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report it. Duh. Yes, sir. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? Real people. Mm hmm. No argument here. Nice to meet someone who isn't obsessed. Uh huh. Evan. And any. Can't pick this. Combat initiated. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Hi there. I wish Quinson would stop telling those stupid stories. Well, hello. Hello. Quentin is such a liar. 
How would he know what the surface is like? He's never been up there. <clears throat> the coursers give me the creeps, you know? They seem, I don't know, cold. Excuse me, Doctor. It's a real juggling act, trying to keep all the systems down here operating in the green. This place might look shiny and new, but there's a lot of old technology in these walls. I lose sleep worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. How old are we talking about? Well, the reactor and a lot of the related systems. You know, cooling, monitoring, power distribution. That's all pre-war tech. Most of the superstructure down here was built later. When the people who survived the war. I guess each generation's been tinkering with the place. Adding labs, making upgrades, and so on. Now that there's some stuff I need to check on. See you around, yeah? Hey, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Dr. Fillmore. Hey, what do you need? I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low-priority maintenance and labor. Excuse me. Allie. What's on your mind? Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Excuse me. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. <clears throat> Your presence here is a great gift, not just to Father. 
to all of us. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that. been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Hey there. Huh? Father has accomplished so much. I hope you can appreciate his work as we do. Excuse me, doctor? Oh, it's you. That was productive. You're here then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute, at will. A Courser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our Coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Rushed work is sloppy at best, and Dr. deadly Lee. at worst. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Safety first. Remember Dr. Lee, tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. I wish I had more time to spend with Quentin, but I can't be in two places at once. I haven't been able to crack that one yet. Dr. Lee. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? Yes, things are... I'm sorry, I don't... Excuse me. 
I hope you and father try to make up the time you've lost. Family is important. Rushed work is sloppy at best, and deadly at worst. Doctor. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our uh -huh. rules create... Uh-huh. Words any form or so. A man who understands them. Mm -hmm. I had some handbooks made up. Sounds good. Take care, then. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but lately I prefer less animated pursuits. No visible reaction to the K-14 combo. We'll start <laughs> Our new synths are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. Hi, Doc. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you come to think of the Institute as your home. What do you do here? Oh, I'm in charge of housing and provisions. It's my mission to ensure that everyone lives a comfortable and productive life. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Dr. Oberlin. Good to see you. Feeling well today? I hope all your needs are being seen too. You just let me know if you're not. I'm seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> Dr. Watson can be a little All this must be a little overwhelming, overwhelming for you. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going s- Hey, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back mm -hmm. to you. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity. Sure. We teach them armed and unarmed combat. In fact, those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Justin. Yes, what is it? I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. 
All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Dr. Ayo. Yes? What do you need? If you're the acting head of the ESRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Feels like this project has been going on for months. Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Hey there. I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. Yeah, well, if you can't get along, it's gonna be hard to accomplish anything. Yeah, even worse, we got a lot of smart guys with fragile egos. Anyway, we'll figure it out. It was good to meet you. Sometimes you have to lean on the other departments to get what you need. Remember to practice good sanitation habits at all times. about to get a new food supplement. Then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as a machine. So we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Doctor, 
Software could use a little more debugging. Excuse me, Doctor. You've arrived at a momentous time. Our third generation sense are a true breakthrough. The culmination of centuries of research. It's no exaggeration to say that they're superior in almost every way to human beings. What I've seen so far is pretty impressive. It's just the beginning. Like I said, a momentous time. Dr. Loken. With our third generation sins, we've improved Hi. our humanity. Hey. You wouldn't happen to have a spare polarizer on you, would you? Doctor. Ah, it's you. You're finally with us. I'd just like to apologize for any trouble our synths may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity. And they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interest. Most of which I designed myself. Not to make problems for you, though. I, uh... Will you be staying with us, then? Yes, of course. Ah, good. Sean is most pleased, I'm sure. He's been quite anxious to have you with us. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. Doc, the synths are treating you well, I hope. Another lovely day, isn't it? I can't imagine living on the surface. It sounds like a nightmare. The Institute is my life. I hope it will be yours too. Hello.
A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. The terminal's gotta be somewhere.
not everything you've heard about the Institute is true. Give us a chance. Hey there. Yes? Power demand jumped another 5% this year. Dr. Thompson. Best part of my day is coming home to my girls. Yes? I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. Ahem.
Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. Hey. Once you've said... All this advanced technology, and we still can't cure the common cold. Dean. I have to admit, the third generation sensor really something. Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm Institute material. I'm gonna prove him wrong. Hi. It's hard to stand out when you're surrounded by geniuses. Rosalind is as smart as she is beautiful. I just wish I could get her notice me. Our new sense are so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. We are honored to welcome you here. Mankind be defined. It's catchy, isn't it? must make you proud to see all that father has done, all that he has built. Even though I'm a synth, Alan and Liam have made me feel like a part of their family. <clears throat> As the Institute's first personal synth, I try to set a good example. If all personal synths are as good looking as you, I should get one for myself. Why, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I don't know that I can be of much help with that. But the compliment has certainly made my day. It was a real pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you're still taking everything in. So I'll let you get back to that. Eve. I must be the luckiest synth in the Institute. Yes? Coursers give me the creeps, you know? They seem, I don't know, cold. Just as you gave life to Father, he gave life to many of us. Excuse me. Father has accomplished so much. I hope you can appreciate his work as we do. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. Only opens with a key. Can't pick this. It must make you proud to see all that the key. has done. All that he has built. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to Father, but to all of us. So much research, so little time.
Hey, Mo. Got those baseball relics I asked for? Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Excuse me. Get lost. I didn't ask for company. Leave. Leave me alone. I didn't ask for company. Leave. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Oh, wow. They're tall. Well, hello. Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? I want to be left alone. Hey, pal. My dad says not to talk to strangers. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, Death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Hey. Shoot. to find someone who's gone missing the devil is in the details tell me everything you can no matter how painful it might be we were in a vault when it happened vault 111 it, it was some kind of cryo facility you were on ice huh more importantly you were underground sealed up a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? 
Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need... You're right. Mr. Sure. The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man... Maybe some kind of improvised armor? The hazard suit is interesting. What else do you remember about them? I'll never forget that voice. Huh. Not much to go on. What else? The man who... killed my wife. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Vault... And he bought a house here in town, right? Yeah, that's right. The house... It's Sean. Don't jump the gun on me. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Mm -hmm. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am.